somehow as a student of science, I am not in agreement with the current practices worldwide. For example, rightly said, Milinji said that earthworms are farmer's best friend. Earthworm do not tolerate flooded soil. So four or six inch of water on the soil in itself is anti-earthworm environment. Secondly, earthworms are detritus feeders. They are not soil borrowing animals. They borrow soil to avoid heat and desiccation or the temp surface temperature is high, not otherwise. Let us understand what is earthworm first of all. And if you see the conventional furrow irrigation, the water runs in the grooves. And the plantation is made on the crest of the, between the grooves. So the water reaches the subsoil region of the root zone and topsoil is totally free of water. And thirdly, the sprinklers and drip irrigation that Milinji said is more of a, an academic exercise because we don't have water suitable for the drip irrigation. And secondly, we don't have the energy. They are highly energy intensive practices. So this, we are still today in the Babylon irrigation age, Mesopotamia. So I am not an agriculturist, but coming to the basics of uh, moisture and microbiota of the soil, that Gopalji mentioned, I really think needs a, a better address than the current agricultural practices. Thank you.